Okay, so welcome to Photoshop CC. This is the most current version of Photoshop. This is the big bad one. There are other versions of Photoshop. There's an app for it. There's even Photoshop Elements, which is a really inexpensive version of Photoshop that you might want to use with your kids. But this is the big bad one. Just going to run through a couple of things that might help you to get started with your students and yourself if you don't use a whole bunch of Photoshop. Kind of give you a little overview quickly and then you can kind of put the pieces together as you need them. So on the left hand side we've got tools, on the top we've got menus. This bar here is for the options for whichever tool we have selected and then when you click on a new tool it changes the options there. And on the right hand side we've got something called panels. They used to be called palettes, now they're called panels. I don't know why. And the way I have it set up is the default setup, and you can do that by going up to Window and to Workspace and to Choose Essentials. And if it doesn't change everything back, hit Reset Essentials. And then everything should be looking just the way I have it. Now, you don't need Photoshop CC here. You could have any version of Photoshop, and what I'm going to show you will work the same across all of those different versions of Photoshop. I'm going to start by creating a new file go up to the top next to the word Photoshop on a Mac here and I'm gonna see the word file and I'm gonna say new and when new pops up it gives me this dialog box and in the dialog box I would like to choose in the presets the default Photoshop size and the reason I want to do that is because it keeps the file very very small it's a good idea to do this with your kids because if you did a really big file Pretty soon, you'd run out of space for saving all the stuff. Now, you could give it a title. We'll give it a title later. We'll say OK. Here's the big piece of paper, 5 inches by 7 inches, and we're looking at it kind of uh, from a distance. We can zoom in, and you can do that by going up to the word View and zooming in and zooming out. But it's better to use the shortcuts if you can. <clears throat> and I have this little shortcut uh, the command key and the plus sign will zoom me in. Command key and minus will zoom me out. And the command key and zero will fit the whole picture on the screen. We'll use these a couple of times as we're playing with this. If we were using a PC, this would be the control key and plus, control and minus, and control and zero. So let me just show you how that works. You can hit it there, or you can hold the command key and hit plus 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 plus. Now I'm just way 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 zoomed in so all you see is a big bright white screen here. If I do command minus 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 I start backing out. There we go. And if I hold the key down I'll do command plus just hold it down. Ooh, wham! There you go. So you get big small. If you're too zoomed in always remember you can do the command key and zero and that shows me the whole entire picture. I'm just going to back out a little bit so you can get an idea of what we're doing with this. So on the right-hand side now, you see I have a layer that is basically a piece of white paper. What I'm going to do is put a shape in here. So let's say we're going to introduce composition to your students. You just want to do a couple of things with maybe shape and line and balance, and let's stop with that. So I take the shape tool, which is hiding over here, and I'm just going to grab a rectangle. And I'm going to click and drag a rectangle. And when I let go, it's going to fill the rectangle with whichever color happened to be selected in the fill setup over here. And I believe I had the defaults all set up, so black is usually the first color that you see. But as long as that shape is selected, you could click in there, hold the mouse down for a second, reveal this little box. Here's the recently used colors that we were playing around with. And then you've got a color. Let's just take a kind of an orange. There we go. A light yellow orange. Excellent. You could even give the box a little bit of a stroke, another outline. And we'll just say OK to that little black stroke there. You could pick another color if you want, but do a red stroke or even a blue stroke. You can really talk to the kids about color and everything else. Let's just stay, uh, let's go back and get rid of this stroke here. We'll say, no, we don't want that, so we have nothing there. That's good. And now we're going to back out and take a look at what we've got. Notice you've also got, because we have the shapes going, We've got all of these options to play with the shapes. Very cool new stuff inside Photoshop. You can round off edges. You can do all kinds of great things here. All right, I'm going to hit the Enter or the Return key to get rid of that. And then I'm just going to close up this little box by hitting this. And now we're back. So here's what we did. 
we started with a new file the default Photoshop size we saw that we had a new layer over here the blank the background was white and then we added a rectangle okay that's how we'll start we'll do a couple more videos